Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you the first 10 things you should do with your iPad Air 4. This will be tips, tricks, and things you should know to set yourself up on your new iPad and also unlock the full potential of this iPad. So let's begin. So the first tip is learning the advanced gesture control on the iPad. I've shown some of the basic gestures in my last video, which I'll put a link at the top of this video. So do check it out. So to begin with, the first one is using your five fingers, where if you pinch on the home screen, you'll see all the apps which are open. If you're in an app and if you pinch with your five fingers, you can see that it goes back to the home screen. Another gesture control tip is with your three fingers, where if you have a selected text and you pinch in with your three fingers, you'll see the message will be copied. Now put your cursor to an empty space and do the reverse of a pinch. This will then paste the text you copied. Swiping left with your three fingers actions the undo. Now to action redo, just swipe to the right with your three fingers. Another gesture control is with the keyboard where you can actually pinch on the keyboard to create a floating keyboard. So something similar to an iPhone keyboard. This way you can move the keyboard anywhere you like and using your one hand you can type on the iPad. If you pinch out, it will come back to its original size. Tip 2. Apple Pencil Screenshot This tip is related to an Apple Pencil or any third party pencil you use on your iPad. You can swipe up from the bottom left to take a screenshot. Then you can add your notes and draw on it as you wish. Tip 3. Mouse control. In this tip you can connect an external mouse to the iPad and you can use that to navigate around the iPad. So for this you need a USB-C to a normal USB adapter and you'll need a mouse. It can be a wireless or a wired one. This is a normal Logitech mouse with a USB dongle. No additional setup is required, everything is plug and play. To customize the mouse movement, you can go into general and trackpad and mouse settings. And here you can customize the tracking speed. You can look at the natural scrolling and whether you want to right click enabled or not. If you have an open app, you can move your pointer to the bottom and you can see the dock appear as well. Tip 4. Multitasking. As you know, iOS 14 for iPad allows you to multitask, so you can multitask two applications at the same time. In this tip, you can actually have two instances of Safari, where you can drag the link to the right and open another Safari window. And we can go ahead and interact like they are two separate applications. Now if you go back to the home screen, Hold down on the Safari icon and then tap on Show All Window. Here you can add another window by tapping on the plus sign. So now you have four instances of Safari open at the same time. By repeating the same process by long pressing on the Safari icon and then Show All Window, you can then navigate to other instances of Safari. Tip 5. Touch ID Setup. Another tip is to set up your Touch ID on your iPad. This is a great security feature for the iPad and as you know iPad Air 4 has a Touch ID at the top of the iPad. You can access the Touch ID settings from your settings app and then Touch ID and passcode and you can add as many fingerprints as you can. So if you have a family of four you can add all the fingerprints to unlock the iPad. Since I have a 9 year old using the iPad, I've disabled iTunes and App Store purchase and Apple Pay 
so it doesn't use a fingerprint and avoids accidental purchase. However, it will prompt for a password when trying to download a new app. I have only enabled fingerprint scan for iPad unlock and password autofill. Tip 6. This is to do with your display settings on the iPad. So to access it, go to your settings and then display and brightness. Here you can set light or dark mode. I chose dark mode so it looks more pleasing to the eye rather than the bright white screen. You can set your brightness. You can make sure true tone is on as the iPad will adjust to the ambient lighting to make colors look pleasing to your eyes. You can also enable night shift, which is also known as a blue light filter. So when you're using the iPad in the dark, it'll switch to a warmer color. Set auto lock settings, so it locks after two minutes, five minutes, or never. So if you do a lot of reading, I would suggest changing this to a bit longer or never auto lock. Lock unlock, if you have an iPad case, you can enable this feature. Then you can change the text size and make it bold as per your choice. Tip 7 Customizing your home screen. If you go into your settings and go to home screen and dock, you have a choice of setting your icon smaller or bigger as per your wish. You can switch on the keep on today view which is a widget for your home screen you can switch multitasking on or off you can also show suggested and recent apps in the dock tip 8 connecting an external hard drive so with this iPad, since it's got a USB-C connector, you can connect any external hard drive to the iPad. I'll use this adapter here, USB-C to a normal USB, and I can connect a external hard drive and view the files as normal. So here I've got a SSD, which I'll connect to the iPad. Tip 9, Control Center Customization. So to customize this, you need to go to your Settings app and then tap on Control Center. Here you can add any quick settings to the Control Center and enable any features you want. Tip 10, iCloud Storage Setup. I would highly recommend you look into iCloud storage plan for your iPad if you have bought the 64 GB version. So this can be done by going to your settings, tap on your name, then tap on iCloud, then tap on manage storage. Currently everyone gets 5 GB free from Apple, but you can choose to buy more. And there you go, those are the 10 tips and tricks and things you should do to your shiny new iPad Air 4. Hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.